Have speed. Okay. We were going through your entire body of work, from Brew Baker, even before that, all the way through, and we were trying to think, think of someone who could have played all those different parts. I was kind of thinking of, you know, you've been, you've done some Clint Eastwood kind of parts. I think Clint might could have played this part in some of these other roles, but you do play a lot of variety. Do you ever think you can't do something, or do you just have total yes. faith? Yes. Yes. No. I, I there, there are things that I, I think I can't do. Um, uh, a lot of things that I've, well, not, uh, many things I've turned down because I just couldn't see me doing them. I mean, you know, the chauffeur, you, but then you jump to very much of a leadership role as a policeman and a lot of things in between principles. Authority figures they like to put you in. Have you seen that kind of as a trend? Yes, <laughs> I have. Uh, I don't know what it is that makes that happen because I'm... I don't think of myself, Morgan Freeman's not an authority figure at all, and I'm more a loner than anything else. Uh, I like that, that uh, saying, or I don't know where it is, that, uh, don't follow me because I may not be leading. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I'd be going in circles. Right. Uh, do you feel like when you, when you take on a project, I mean, you want to, it's like a baseball player, you want to hit a grand slam home run every time oh, you go up course. and play. Oh, of course. You want to hit. You so want you to do hit feel that before, when you do say yes, something is going to be a big success? No, I don't. I don't. I don't think uh, think about it in terms of it being a success. You don't ever know because, sure. you know, audiences are what they are. Uh, one day this works and one day it doesn't when we were talking just types and mm -hmm. genres and things like that. So you just have to de depend on your own gut feeling about the piece. Mm -hmm. Do you like it? Is it, is it readable? Does it come off the page? Can you, can you emotionally see the character? Would you say that you're humbled by all the praise that you get? I mean, everybody likes Morgan Freeman. I can't find a person. I mean, they might not like you personally, but I mean, they certainly like you professionally. I haven't met a person that didn't like a Morgan Freeman person. They might not like the movie, but they liked you. And uh, did Am you I ever think you were going to get that kind of success when you were trying so hard? Get that kind of success, uh, it's a hard one to answer because that's been the story of my life on, on theater and show business and on the stage. I started when I was a kid mm -hmm. and I was always liked. Uh, I've, nobody's ever really, really not liked me um, that often. I mean, have maybe uh, three occasions when someone said something disparaging. But you're not a confrontational me. kind of man, right? No, I hate confrontation. I really don't like. You'll it. go around the block and not to get in a fight, basically. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm trying to go the opposite direction. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you try to make people like you. I mean, some yeah. People, no, I need to be people, liked. Yeah. I have a very strong, strong need to be liked. Yes. But when you're in a scene, I have the feeling that you're the kind of actor you're not going to let somebody make you do too many takes on something, for example, because I think you know where you're going to go. I I don't like to do a lot of takes. I really don't. I th um, no. I don't want anybody to make me do because I think it. For, uh, and I'm different than a lot of other actors. A lot of other actors need to keep doing it because they mm -hmm. they're, they're getting deeper and deeper into it. It's like when you, if particularly if you grow up on the stage, and you have all this rehearsal time, and you just keep peeling off a layer at a time until you get to the core of the character, and by the time you open. You but you've watched Clint and work, and you've watched Gene Hackman work, and that spoiled you a little bit, didn't it? Well, no, I've always... Uh, this is I've how always, you've been, even, you just fit right into that I style. I just fit right into that style, and particularly in the movies, because, uh, boom, and I've done a lot of television, and that's television it doesn't lend itself very much to... I'll give you this real quick before we go. Okay. This is called Hey Morgan Freeman, on the internet. There's mm -hmm. a song about you to the tune of Hey Macarena. There's an actor that I love. His name is Morgan Freeman. He's been in such fine movies as Robin Hood and Seven. Also driving Miss Daisy and Shaw's Sack Redemption. Hey, Morgan Freeman. And it goes on and on and on and on and on. He could have been, he could have been a star even if he hadn't been, a, if he'd been a Caucasian, Russian, Australian. Australian. I mean, it goes on and on and on. I can do that. Hey, Morgan Freeman song. You got to have uh, a song. Mm. Thank you. Thank you.